plan to happen. Uh, I also attended the high school open house. Everything Mr. Miller said is true. Uh, last week, I went to a meeting of the UB County School Board Administration. Uh, it was a training and networking event. Uh, I got to see a presentation about boardsmanship and teamwork. And I met a lot of interesting people who were members of other school boards, Bar Garwood, uh, even one from the UB County Votex system. Uh, it was a very uh, useful event, and I would encourage my fellow board members to attend those in the future. It's definitely worth it. And uh, I hope I'm not stealing Pedro's thunder, but I do want to wish everybody happy National Education Week. Uh, this is a week-long celebration of public education. Kickoff is Monday. Today is uh, Parents' Day. Wednesday, uh, Support Professionals' Day. Thursday, Educator for a Day. I wonder what that's about. And uh, Friday, Substitute Educators' Day. Uh, thanks to all of these people, our teachers, our substitute teachers, our paras, our administrative staff, secretaries, everybody who's involved in public education in Roosevelt Park. That's my report. Thank you. Anyone else? Hearing none, we will move on to the uh, personal principal's report. Good evening, Board of Education members, Mr. Garrido, Mrs. Callis, and the Sherman School Committee. The 2019-2020 school year is off to a great start. I'd like to begin by acknowledging Greg Parentel and the custodial staff for the wonderful improvements made to our school over the summer. As a surprise to our staff, the teacher's room and kitchen were updated with fresh paint, new flooring, and bright white cabinets. Everyone is so grateful for the new teacher's room. Other projects completed include a bathroom for our new preschool class, new flooring in the main office, and painting the entrance that leads to the auditorium. With the addition of the new preschool class, many classrooms had to shift. Ray and his team ensured all classrooms were properly relocated and all materials were transferred to appropriate rooms. The Sherman School staff and students are very lucky to have custodians that value our school as much as we do. I'm very excited to share some of the great things that have been happening with Sherman School. We started the year by introducing the six-day rotation schedule. It was a bit of an adjustment for all of us. However, I think we are getting used to it and the benefit of increased instructional time. Mrs. Halpern, our guidance counselor, organized several character education programs this marking period. Once again, we participated in Start with Hello Week. We began the week by wearing name tags and looking each other in the eye, saying hello, and including the other person's name. One morning, our fifth grade graders waited at the front entrance and greeted our younger students with hellos and high fives. Mr. Blue Bar, our PE teacher, had students participate in warm-up activities that created opportunities for students to talk and learn something about their partner. Our students also participated in Chalk It Up, where they chalked up by writing positive messages at the entrance of schools with both high school and middle school students. Mrs. Odat, our PTA president, took the time to read Be Kind to every single class at Sherman School. In early November, we elected our student council of character, and we are looking forward to working with our student council members to come up with future school-wide character education projects. This year, we are inviting our fourth grade students to participate in the Steam Tank Challenge. The Steam Tank Challenge is sponsored by the New Jersey School Board Association and the United States Army. The competition asks teams to invent something new, modify an existing product, or identify a situation or real-world problem that needs resolution. Mrs. Burgos expressed interest in Sherman participating in this program last year, and we are excited to see what our teams come up with. We have quite a few teams that um, are sharing ideas with us tomorrow. Mrs. Dowry, our technology teacher, has been working with her students to get them acquainted with expectations in regards to assessments. Using language arts and math data from the Lincoln Benchmark Form A, the students set goals for themselves in areas where they recognize and need to strengthen. As a district, we believe that students will show growth when they have opportunities to set goals and work towards achieving those goals. Our humble and kind theme teaches our students about the tremendous impact of doing, other, doing for others. I feel it's important to highlight some of the amazing things our Sherman students, families, and teachers have done so far this year. 
Every Friday at 8.20, Mr. Linton Waller and the Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts organize an outdoor flag salute for the entire school. This has been a long tradition at Sherman School, and I love how the Scouts have taken on an important role in the ceremony. This year, the fifth grade students share lunch, a lunch period with students in kindergarten and first grade. It has been wonderful to watch fifth graders take on a big brother, big sister role with our younger students. The interactions not only benefit the students in kindergarten and first grade, but the fifth graders as well. Our student council members, along with students from all of the schools in our district, participated in the Rosa Park Veterans Day ceremony last Monday. The Sherman staff don't need food for a family in need. We delivered a car full of groceries, and I was humbled by the generous donations from our staff. Our amazing PTA continuously supports the students, staff, and families of Sherman School. Recently, one of our staff members was placed on medical leave. Mrs. Harms immediately reached out to the Sherman community to organize donations to bring some cheer to this beloved staff member. The outpouring of support and well wishes was amazing. Our second grade students are organizing their annual harvest fest for next week. This tradition allows for the collection of food for a local food bank and supplies for a local animal shelter. And most importantly, this teaches our children about doing for others. I'm so proud of our Sherman family for all of their efforts to give to others. This school truly embodies what it, what it means to be humble and kind. I'm thankful for the opportunity to be here tonight to share the great things happening at our school and to recognize these amazing children for their hard work. I wish you all a happy Thanksgiving. Thank you. Charles 
Dominic Matosik. Natalie Noya. James Reagan.
Danica Sol Martin.
and, and hopefully our parents and our students did take note of all the great things going on there in terms of uh, the STEAM lab. Uh, as Mr. Sigurdola said, we have a beautiful uh, fitness weight room now, so uh, we're not only uh, just concentrating on the uh, academics, but also the arts and the athletics as well. So, you know, it's a well-rounded high school that we hope our students take advantage of it when they, when they do decide to go to high school. Uh, Veterans Day participation was wonderful. I did attend uh, that day. Our school represented very well. Our band uh, was excellent, and so were the students that were there reading poems, and, and so uh, uh, so much uh, was, was shared with, with the veterans. It was really a wonderful uh, day. As I mentioned, the new fitness weight room is open, and at our next board meeting, is at the high school. We will take a tour. I will take the, the board members and the public if they want to see it. Uh, they did a great job at Sopranto. Uh, you know, Mrs. Scalas uh, and, and the administration and the teachers there really planned a wonderful setting for our athletes and our students uh, that are going to take advantage of it. Uh, we're still not finished. I met with them yesterday. We're still going to add some technology uh, to the fitness room as well. So uh, we are planning on that as well. Uh, as Mr. Signorell said, our annual uh, bonfire is Wednesday night, next Wednesday night, uh, before the Thanksgiving uh, annual game against Roselle. And uh, I think it's a great event. I did attend two years ago, uh, and it was really, really well attended and uh, well received. So looking forward to that this year as well. And as uh, Mr. Lightner said, I want to wish everyone a happy Thanksgiving. This is the time of the year that we reflect and on our families and our friends and, and of course all the great things that we appreciate about uh, being such a wonderful uh, school and uh, district. So thank you very much to the board and I would like to take the, also the opportunity to uh, thank you for their support and we, uh, every time I, I guess it was something. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Hoover. Uh, next, we'll move on to our policies. Uh, this is the second reading of district policy, local wellness, nutrition. Um, do I have a motion? I'll make a motion. I have a second? Second. Any discussion? Can you run roll call, please? Vice President Signorello. Yes. Ms. Carlstrom. Yes. Ms. Falcon. Yes. Mr. Hemingway. Yes. Mr. Leingang. Yes. Ms. McLeod-Kato. Yes. Mr. M Mr. Miller. Sorry. Yes. And President Mark. Yes. On roll call, motion carries. Thank you. We move on to the consent agenda. Uh, personnel, items 2 through 12. 2, district substitutes, 3, staff resignation. For rescinding of staff resignation, that's a good thing. Uh, additional elementary proctors, 2019-2020. Six additional lunch proctor personnel. Seven sick day bank. Eight additional high school coach, 2019-2020. Nine language translation. Ten disability leave of absence. Eleven additional high school extracurricular advisor, 2019-2020 and 12, change of the science. Do I have a motion? Make that motion. Do I have a second? Second. Any discussion? Hearing none, go for please. Vice President Signorella. Yes. Ms. Carlstrom. Yes. Ms. Falcon. Yes. Mr. Hemingway. Yes. Mr. Lange. Yes. Ms. McLeod-Cato. Yes. Mr. Miller. Yes. President Marks. Yes. Thank you. We will move on to education, items 13 through 16. 13 education programs, 14 educational trip requests, 15 harassment, intimidation, intimidation, bullying incidents, 16 student transportation. Do I have a motion? Make that motion. I have a second. Second. Any discussion? Hearing none, no call, please. Vice President Signor Yes. Ms. Carlstrom. Yes. Ms. Falcon. Yes. Mr. Hemingway. Yes. Mr. Lange. Yes. Ms. McLeod Cato. Yes. Mr. Miller. Yes. President Marks. Yes. On the roll call motion carries. Thank you. 
Uh, under business, item, agenda item 17 through 19. 17, approval of bills. 18, approval of minutes. 19, use of buildings and grounds. That's the wall. Do I have a motion? Make that motion. Do I have a second? Second. Do I have a discussion? Hearing none, roll call please. Vice President Sinclair. Yes. Ms. Carl Strom. Yes. Ms. Falcon. Yes. Mr. Hemingway. Yes. Mr. Langang. Yes. Ms. Mathab Cato. Yes. Mr. Miller. Yes. President Harms. Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. Uh, we'll move on to any continuing business. Mr. President, I have something. Um, that I forgot to mention at the front of the meeting, I suppose. Um, yeah, post something on Facebook about it. I attended the uh, Rosa Park Middle School PTA meeting uh, last week. They are um, a really great small group of parents doing some really nice things for the kids, thinking of new fundraising ideas and activities. Um, right now they have a spirit wear sale going on, a pie sale, holiday shops coming up and organizing some other fundraisers at places like IHOP and Blaze Pizza and things like that. But um, I think the point I wanted to make was that they're, you know, they're, they're, they're really looking for members. They're really looking for some more parents to be involved. I mean, it's, it's, um, it's a little bit of time and it's $7. Twelve dollars uh, for um, if you have, you know, for, for both parents, I think. Um, get involved more. They're really doing some really nice things over there, um, and it could really help out. Um, Principal Boyce also uh, was in attendance, gave a little report to the parents. So it's another opportunity to hear from you know your your school principal as well to find out the, uh, the good things that, uh, that she has planned as well. And I won't go through that, but um, um, you know, there's some really nice things going on over there at the middle school. And I encourage all parents to uh, join the PTA and get involved. Thank you. Any other continuing business? Any young, any new business? Yes, Mr. President, just briefly, as a member of the board ops, uh, we're discussing uh, the tentative schedule for board meetings next year. And then roughly we have about 24 in the calendar year, and maybe we're looking to downsize to um, maybe 19 or 20. So we're looking at it. Uh, we have a new board, a new member we sworn in in January, and look uh, forward to seeing if. Uh, what we got to do with the tentative schedule for board meetings next year. We want to be productive, let the public know what's going on, uh, but uh, if it's, we could shorten up a couple of meetings, we could maybe be uh, just as productive. So we'll see what January brings up. That's all I have to do. Thank you. Any other new business? Speaking of the new board, uh, Mr. President, I just wanted to uh, congratulate uh, Ms. Pacado, Mr. Fernandez. Mr. Cigarello and you, Mr. Harms, on your, your re-election. Welcome to you, Jane. Thank you. Welcome back and welcome. Thank you. If there's no other new business, I will move on to the public portion, the second public portion. Anyone wishing to speak, please come forward, state your name, and you can speak on any topic you'd like. Seeing that and hearing that, I will close the second public portion. Uh, at this time, I would like to wish all board members a very happy and healthy uh, Thanksgiving. Um, all the um, community uh, people, uh, residents of Rosa Park, I wish you all a very healthy and happy Thanksgiving. Um, and I'd like, I hope everybody can turn out to the Wednesday night um, bonfire. And um, if you can, uh, we're playing over at Roselle, it's at 1030 days. Uh, this might be the last time we ever play um, a Thanksgiving game. I'm not sure, but it seems that way. So um, come on out, support our, our uh, football players and our coaches. Uh, and again, happy 
Thanksgiving to everybody. At this time, I may ask for a motion to adjourn. I'll make a motion. Ooh. Second. All in favor? Aye. Anyone opposed? Aye. Thank you and have a good night. Yeah.